Yeah. There we go, guys. That's a good fish right there. Hey, guys. I'm Chris. Welcome to Show Me the Hogs. In this episode, I'm in the hunt for smallmouth just outside Grand Rapids, Michigan in the Thorn Apple River. It's been a few years since I've been here, but in the past, I've had a lot of success targeting smallmouth around the weed beds that you'll find all up and down the river. Can I replicate that success on this trip? Let's find out. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Got him. Oh, little guy. Little bitty bass. Here we go, first smallie of the day. Little guy. See you, bud. Yep, got him. A little bit better fish, I think. Oh yeah. There we go. Trying to dive down into that grass. All right. Small successes early on, but what makes weed beds such great areas to target smallies? There's a great 2015 In Fisherman article by Jonathan Leeper that breaks down why smallies like weed beds so much. The author and angler cited in the article note that these are great areas for fish to forage for a wide variety of food sources, which of course include prey fish, and there are plenty of those little guys swimming around in that cabbage. That's why I was using a powerbait white shad swim bait coupled with a Colorado spinner, and it seemed to be working pretty well so far. Yeah. There we go, guys. That's a good fish right there. That is a good fish. That is what I came out here for. Actually, it's not that big, that big of a Oh. I got to figure out this net situation because. Uh, that sucked. I was trying to go for my net, and as I brought the fish up, it spit the hook. What is this, amateur hour? Yeah. There's another one. What I've found in my own experience fishing for smallies in this type of vegetation is that the smallies really like to hang around the edges of very thick weed beds. And I was glad to discover while reading this article that there's actually a lot of truth in that. While vegetation is important, in larger weedy areas, edges are key. Fish typically favor outside edges, but you will often find a big group milling around areas with rock, gravel, or sand with vegetation nearby. When they're feeding, they're often near the top over grass clumps if it's thicker. Smallies don't bury into the grass like large mouths, especially not this time of year, that being summer. They hold near it because that's where their food is. Small mouths and vegetation, especially cabbage, typically haunt the edges waiting to feed, either suspended in the upper part of the water column looking up, or else roaming within sparser vegetation. Got another one. There we go, guys. Got another one. Decent size. It might be the best one of the day if I can land them. Gotcha. That is the best bass of the day so far, and I'm having a blast. Go ahead and cut this guy loose. All right, see you later, buddy. And regardless of where you're fishing, if you come across some down timber, you gotta hammer that. Got him. Got another one. All right. Not bad. What do we got here? Another smallie? Heck yeah. I stand corrected. This looks like a largemouth bass with that bar down the side. Might be a spotted. Eh, either way, a lot of fun. I'll let you go. See you later, bud. I like this place. But what do you guys think about all this, including my strategy? Let me know down in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this video, we'd appreciate it if you consider subscribing and checking out some of the other videos on our channel. We hope you guys come back for the next one, but until then, get out there, put a line in the water, because we were made to fish.